This one is from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for not telling my boyfriend that my dad slash family is rich? So, my boyfriend Callum and I have been together for eight months. And over this long weekend, I figured it would be a good time for him to meet my dad. He has met my mom and stepdad a couple of times, but always at restaurants or my place. But for this meeting with my dad, we went over to his place for lunch. Looking back on it, Callum was immediately uptight when he saw where my dad lives, but I thought it was just nerves. He was acting pretty strange all through lunch and was very cagey about any questions my dad or his wife asked. But again, I chalked it up to nerves. Well, when we were driving back, he blew up, not yelling or anything, just clearly frustrated that I never told him my dad is rich. I was confused and asked why he'd need to know my dad's income. Callum said he would have prepared himself better if he had known and that I sent him in there blind because you're meant to warn your partner of potential pitfalls when they meet your parents. I was still confused about what my dad's tax bracket was a potential pitfall. I could see warning him if my dad was incredibly snobbish about dress sense or manners, but he isn't. Callum then asked if I'd also hidden that my mom and stepdad were rich, which I admitted I guess I did. Although I take issue with him calling it hiding something, it's just not relevant. Callum hasn't let it go and is now digging into irrelevant stuff such as my previous vacations, my living situation, and my job, apparently so he can figure out what exactly my lifestyle is. I think he's totally lost the plot, but up until now, he's been really sweet and unassuming and a chill person, so I'm wondering if I really am the problem. To clarify, my parents are not rich like what you would think of when you think rich. Both my dad and stepdad have been successful and been able to give themselves and their kids nice lives, but we aren't the Waltons. And even if we were, is this a thing you warn people about? No, this is not about them. It's not about you. This is about his insecurity and his perceived inability to provide you with a similar lifestyle. This is him shitting his pants because he thinks he's got to like summon some kind of wild success to create the same kind of wealth that they have to give you the same life. This is his insecurity rearing its ugly head and freaking the out. That's what this is. This is not you. This is not about you. This is not about them. This is his insecurity. And maybe he hasn't run into this kind of situation before, or maybe he has, but this is him freaking out. No, you shouldn't have to warn people about your your dad's tax bracket. You should no. And I understand and, and 100% agree with you if they were like snobby or uppity about certain things, yeah, sure. Like hey, just behaviorally, here's here's what the expectation is going into this, just fair warning. My my dad may say some shit about this and this because he's really passionate about about these things. No, it's just the level of financial success he's had. That's not something that you should ever have to warn your partner about. This is insecurity. Now, if you were aware of your partner's intense, uncontrollable insecurity and knew how it triggered different behaviors for them, and you were heading into a situation where you thought it might be triggered by it, then yeah, giving them a heads up is probably good for both of you. But this is the first time it's happened with you guys. This is the first time you've seen it. Hell, it might be the first time he's seen it. What were you supposed to warn him about? Like, hey... Sorry, we're going to go into a different environment and I don't know because you've never been there how you're going to react. So fair warning, you start warning him every time you leave the house now, just be like fair warning. You haven't been in this place before, so you might freak the out NTA. I know it's an insecurity thing. I realize that, but I'm still giving him a brozo and him now digging into your previous vacations. To understand your lifestyle better is him just further freaking the f out because he thinks if he can't give you these same things, he might as well just bow out right now. That is what is happening. And I'm I'm how old is OP? We don't know how old OP is, but I'm guessing you're with him because you want to be with him, not because you think he's he's going to duplicate the success of your parents. But it's one of those insecurities that's that's his insecurities shouldn't be your problems. Pain of ruin. Yes, I agree with that. Um, I also I, I kind of get it. I don't get him him letting his insecurity run run this whole situation and his relationship into the ground. I understand um, there there's a I'm sure it's this way for everybody. It's not just men, but I feel like as a man, um, I you know, I, I have an expectation for myself to provide a certain kind of future for my family, to provide a certain kind of lifestyle for my family. That's a me problem, 
that's a him problem. He just doesn't know it. And for some reason projected that onto you and made it a you problem. Some context there is, is good, but he needs the context of understanding where those feelings and the freaking out that he's experiencing is coming from and not letting it, not letting it become a negative for you, not projecting that onto you, not making it your problem because it's not your problem. He did you a disservice there. He did you a cowardly disservice there. Uh, and I, I think it's on him to figure that out. This is not your problem. Tell him to chill the f- out and whatever he needs to figure out, he can figure out on his own time not to drag you into it. And if he insists on dragging you into it, this is a, this is a ticking time bomb in your situation. At this point in my life, having the wisdom of several f- ups, I would look back and I would say, look, um, this is a you problem. Figure it out. And then we can go back to normal until then. Like that's I'm not going to be dragged into this. I'm not going to have you digging through my past to figure out if you can afford my future. Grow up.